Welcome back this new tonight and only on 13. We're going to go look at the region's first wind farm. It opened for business today. ABC 13 meteorologist Elise Smith takes us behind the scenes to learn more about the benefits. Just down Highway 59 in central Wharton County, 48 towering turbines are now spinning at the Prairie Switch Wind Project, a first for southeast Texas. The turbines are obviously sited in a place where there's strong winds, right? You, you're siting this project near, near Houston in an area where the wind resource is strong. Greg Calhoun is the managing director at Fengate, the company behind the energy project. What a ride! He gave only ABC 13 cameras a behind the scenes tour of the site. He tells us that these wind turbines were specially designed for this location. When you site renewable projects and power projects near the demand for electricity, it's better because you don't have to build as many transmission lines. And this project is a great example. Here's how the wind energy gets from the turbines to your home. First, the energy is collected in substation one. Then it goes to substation two, then out to the transmission lines that are connected directly to the Texas grid. And since these are the first turbines to come to our region, I wanted to know if they could withstand the storm force winds we face here in southeast Texas. These turbines at certain wind speeds, whether the wind, if the wind is too strong or hurricane winds, the turbines would shut down. The wind turbines would shut down, so they wouldn't operate for safety reasons. In the meantime, these turbines will produce 160 megawatts of power that's sent right to the Texas grid and brings more than just power resiliency for our communities. It's great for the community local community and it's great for the environment. This project has produced over 200 jobs to date and um, over the life of this asset it will produce over 60 million dollars of tax revenue. And the Prairie Switch Wind Project will be able to produce enough energy to power 50,000 homes a year. And Fengate tells us that these turbines will be able to last the next 30 to 40 years. Reporting here in Wharton County from the top of a turbine, meteorologist Elise Smith, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.